Hello guys, my name is Jitesh Patel. Welcome to my channel, It's Web Studios. Today I will show you that how to build a WordPress website in localhost server, Xam, and move this website to live server. So let's go to the screen. First of all, you need to download Xam from official website. Then need to install it. But I have already installed Xam in my PC, so I will not download it. After installing XAMPP, you need to start Apache Server and MySQL. You can install XAMPP in any drive, means C drive, D drive or E drive. But my suggestion is that you need to install XAMPP in any drive except C. Because if you install XAMPP in C drive, then your PC will be hang. Because if you develop many projects in XAMPP, then XAMPP consume many memories and your PC will be hanged. So my better option is that you no need to install XAMPP in C drive. Now next point is you need to download WordPress from official website wordpress.org. Now extract the zip file. And move this folder in htdocs folder. Now rename the folder name. You can keep any name as per your choice. Now you need to create the database. For that just go to the browser and type http colon slash slash local list slash php my admin. Go to the database, create the database. For database also you can keep any name as per your choice. Now we have created the database. Now come to the folder structure and open wp-config file. Now write your database name whatever you have created. By default database username is root in gem server and password is blank. Now save the file name and rename the file name. Remove the sample from file name. Now we have configured everything. Now go to the browser and type HTTP colon slash slash localhost slash and your project name. It's Web Studios. Now fill up all the details like site title, username, password and your email. After filling all the details just click on install WordPress. Now our WordPress is installed and just log in by username and password. This is the dashboard of WordPress.
this is the front side of our website now go to the themes click on add new themes there are so many themes available all these themes are free you can install it anything whatever you like it now you have big question that what is the themes theme is nothing but it just a collection of files that depend the look and feel of wordpress website it's your design of your wordpress website now i can show you how to install theme and activate it see now i'm installing blogmate theme see my front look of my website it changed see everything is changed now go to the plugin section plugin means you can add extra, extra personality into your wordpress site like if you don't have technical knowledge and you need to create pages by drag and drop then there are so many plugins available like elementor wp bakery page builder and so many plugins are there but elementor is famous so i will install it Elementor available in free version as well as premium version. In free version, it's giving some limited functionality. Now, if you don't know how to create pages in Elementor and if you design your site from scratches, then it will take lots of time. But there are so many plugins available in market that provide you ready-made Elementor template kits. You just need to install it and activate it. Now I am installing one plugin, the name is Cadence. Now installing Cadence themes. Now you have questioned that why I am activated Cadence themes and plugins. Because Cadence giving me ready made Elementor website template kit. So we no need to create pages manually.
See, there are lots of ready-made templates free and paid. Both are available. Now I am installing and activating one template. It's import the data into my site. See, my all pages are ready. Home page, service page, about page, blog page, appointment, and contact page. See, all pages are ready. You need to just edit the pages and change the content. Now we have developed this site into local host, but I want to move this site on the live server. So how you can do it? It's easy. Earlier I told you that. There are lots of plugins available in the market. You can find it. Now there are two famous plugins available for backup your site. One is All-in-One Migration and another one is Updraft Plus. Both are famous. Now I'm installing All-in-One Migration plugin. There are total three options available, export, import and backup. Now you need to create backup and download that backup. You can weekly or monthly schedule your web backup in this plugin. But this feature coming only in premium version, not in free version. Now our file is ready for download. Now this is my live site and now I will move my site from local to live. On live site first of all you need to install the same plugin all in one migration. Now you need to take backup of your live site before migrating the site because if you get any complex issue then you can revert it. Now import that file that we have downloaded from local site. If your website has many images and videos then it will take the lots of time to import your site. It's depend on your website size.
Now replace the page. See now our site is ready. So that's it. If you have any question about anything in the WordPress, then don't hesitate to ask me. You can comment me or email to me. And finally, if you like my video, then don't forget to like it. So please share the video and click on bell icon to get daily updates about WordPress.